Yeah. If anyone loses the baseball bat, you're, you're freaking new. <laughs> baseball bats are the least effective thing in a fight ever. That's that's just false. I mean, I mean, I can prove it. I can come to your house like in a couple days and hit you in the arm with a baseball bat and completely dislocate your shoulder, then you can't yeah. fight back. If I if I stand still and you hit me in the arm with a baseball bat, yeah, it'll. Getting hit with a baseball bat isn't fun, but it's also good at like one very specific range. It's kind of like police batons, they suck. No, Knives are literally, literally the best thing ever. You could literally hit the butt of a baseball bat and literally crack someone's skull in with very minimum like movement on your part. Not hard, especially wooden baseball bats, because they're more solid than metal ones. It's not hard to kill somebody with a baseball bat. It takes one or two it's strikes. It's not hard to kill somebody with a freaking fork. Uh oh. I mean, no. it might be a little difficult. <laughs> you realize killing people is like really easy. It is. It's like, not hard to kill someone with your bare hand. Like baseball bats are not ineffective weapons. They're actually incredibly effective, especially if it's against soft, fleshy targets like a human. Oh, oh gosh. Watch out, watch out. Like a baseball bat can hit five times harder than any fist of a trained martial artist ever can. Yes! With I, oh, 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 damn it! But they're not good in, like, a lot of environments. Any tight spaces, they're gonna suck. Any, any close ranges, they're gonna suck. Oh, God. At longer ranges, everything loses to a gun. Yeah, I should have, I should have healed even though. It loses to a knife yeah. in close range, it loses to a gun in long range. And Andrew, you're... how did you get one shot, by the way? I, I managed to dodge the two snake attacks, but then the third one got me. I did two, yeah, I dodged two. Yeah, you? Because, because I didn't like, I mean, there was only, I had like 10% of my health, but I didn't like want to heal. Has never done that much damage to me. How much? What is your vigor rank? Wait, he's at 41. I mean, 40. Mine's at 56 now. He did not kill me very fast anymore. Hey, is he like harder to poison in the second stage? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, probably. Also, every time, uh, <laughs> every time a status effect uh, occurs, the bosses get more resistant to it. That's really dumb. I think that's been a thing since Dark Souls 3. But that was really dumb then, too. <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't that happen to me? But, oh, uh, somebody saying something is crazy as if somebody loses to a baseball bat, they suck. No, if you lose to a baseball bat, it's completely understandable because someone could kill you with a fucking, with a fucking little tiny hammer. Like, fairly easily. Hammers easy are and you're so much better than baseball bats, <laughs> Bruh, like, the, the, you can't defend a baseball bat. Like, you can't defend <laughs> against that. If they swing, your only option is to fucking put your guard up and just pray to God it doesn't shatter a bone. No! <laughs> that is not what you do! Cause Wait, you, ain't gonna weave, you ain't gonna weave someone rushing at you with a baseball bat. They're gonna hit you. If it's just like with a knife. Me, first off, they've already lost. Baseball no, they would. You would, ground kind of Mr. Thing. K, you would, you would get cracked in the head with a baseball bat and die immediately if you tried to fight somebody with a baseball bat. <laughs> yeah, that that is a strong weapon. It's literally the same thing as a knife. As soon as you are in melee range, you lost. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Andrew, real quick exercise: take a baseball bat, go yeah. outside to like a proper distance, and try to hit like just like find a telephone pole and whack a telephone pole with a baseball bat. Now take two steps closer. If you swing the bat how you're supposed to swing the bat, you just hit your, the bull with your arms. I don't even have a base. Suddenly it doesn't work as well anymore. If I'm in like longer range, just like a claw hammer. Claw hammers are really good at fighting. First off, if you block, there, you can't block a claw hammer. If the claw hammer hits your hand or your arm or whatever you're blocking with, <laughs> unless you can arrest their hand so they can't move it. It's good in close right. quarters, because if you're in like a hallway, you can't swing a baseball bat either. How are you doing on the boss, by the way? We're waiting for you to put your sign down. Oh, oh my I head. did. Thanks. Oh. I did. 
How am I doing on the boss? Not great. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put on my thing. But Wait, you're like, oh, you can't defend down. against a baseball bat. Well, you actually can't defend against is a knife. When they teach you knife defense, they're like, all right, listen, you're going to get stabbed at least once. But hopefully you can disarm them before you bleed out. Knife is like put, the, to... the thing that you can't defend against. And a gun. I put my sign down again. And the crane kick, according to Mr. Miyagi. No can defend. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> but besides, besides those three things, you can defend against everything else with a variety of, uh, like, uh, maybe not like a grenade. <laughs> but besides like weird stuff like a grenade, <laughs> everything else you can defend against with a... Uh, Varying degrees of success. I don't think there's much defending against any kind of like long weapon unless you yourself have a long weapon. Oh, you're just like absolutely a beef master. Every swing they take at you misses. Haha! <laughs> Eat you there, Mesmer. Ooh. Uh oh, ow! Hey! He hit me. Andrew, don't die. I say that, I'm the one fucking drinking right in front of the guy as he turns towards me. How about I shut my fucking mouth? Uh oh, he's going after Mr. Kitty. Watch out, Mr. Kitty, dodge that! Okay, he's fine. He got that. Andrew, he's fine. He dodges those. <laughs> yeah, That's Mr. Kitty either. Dodging. I'm very good at dodging that now, but Mr. K either doesn't dodge it at all or he dodges everything. There's no in between. Oh, oh you we got him! Uh, uh, Ow! Uh, quick, okay, heal, heal. I'm so dumb. Ah! I'm sorry, Mr. K. Oh, damn it. I'm just he had to go after me. When he lands, I'll. Oh. I land. forgot, I have. I have frost pots, I should have been using them. <laughs> he freaking went after me! <laughs> Andrew, and I'm still feeling... sucking at fucking dealing with that second phase. No, I mean, for the, that, the dog that attacked me, he just came after me instead! <laughs> he loves man butt, Andrew. Just give it to him. I really wonder if you can sleep him, but I highly doubt it. Plus, it's only for one hit. <laughs> sleep him. <laughs> He Ruby sounds funny. Fucking bastard! Screw this guy. Oh god, Mesmer will. Really? Oh. It's very interesting that he has a lisp. Yeah. Tarnished, it seems. Like, cause if you listen when he says his name, he pronounces his s's like an f. And as someone who had a lisp when he was young, yes. like I Mesmer. feel that. <laughs> <laughs> I think Wellerman is fighting for his life. Yeah, he is, I believe. Alright, we got this. Boys. Oh, Ogie! Oh, Andrew, we don't got this, boys. <laughs> I don't. Hold my car. Damn it, Mesmer. Don't blame him. Don't, don't hate the player, hate the game. Thank you, Bumsoft. We're gonna... We're gonna beat him, Mr. K. I don't actually understand, like, the logic and the reasoning behind the that like whole phrase of don't hate the player, hate the game. Don't hate the person for doing this to you. Hate, hate the environment that created the situation that it happened. I'm like, I mean, no, absolutely hate the player. Do you want to understand it? Like, I understand it. It's just kind no, of no, a no, back-ass like, word logic. Do you want to understand it more? Do you sure. want like a true understanding? Um, sure. Play a season as a sober man. Okay. You'll get it. Excuse me. You'll get it. 
apparently. Yeah. It's just a lot of people say that when they do fucked up shit, and it's like that doesn't excuse you out. You can't say, "Don't hate me, hate the fucking environment." It's like, no, I absolutely hate you. <laughs> like, why wouldn't I hate you? You're the one who fucked me over. <laughs> Or, like, you're the one being an asshole, or taking advantage of a loophole to be a dick. <laughs> Put my sign down in case something happens. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like maybe when that phrase was first made, it had more of, like, an actual, like, direct meaning to it. I feel like I, that meaning's lost. I play Overwatch with this one group now, and they're the biggest babies ever. No one can beat me in terms of hating Overwatch. I buffed myself way too early and I realized that and I fucked up. Alright, continue your story. Unless that was all you have to say about them. They're always like, oh, Zarya, like, yeah, Zarya. Staple of the game, been here since the beginning. People have been playing her for a long time. Zarya's not that strong, dude, just deal with it. <laughs> she really has oh, Sombra. Fun. They complain about, like, so many characters. Like, just... Just be glad it isn't Malka. Oh, Venture! Oh. That was the everything. In the embrace One. of Mesmer's <laughs> Yeah. Again, Mr. K oh. either fucking avoids everything or gets hit by everything. Mr. K shows everything that time. Just hit that tank. I I've, I've gotten very good at dodging it. The only thing that still hits me is sometimes my brain farts and I don't dodge the spears after he slams down. Oh, my mic's going crazy. I hear it. I don't hear it. Yeah, I hear that too. Oh. I thought it did. I thought I heard it through Andrew's mic. Sounds fine to me. Oh, alright, fair enough. Well, my Hello. time's down. But, uh, I, I have always and will always complain about the same one character because I hate them with a burning passion. It's a fine Tracer. character. Oh. That's also a fine character. I, I, hate Tracer. I hate Tracer because she is absolutely inconsistent compared to all the other characters. Everyone else has moves that make sense. They don't just teleport around you, but Tracer can. And there's a reason she is almost <laughs> always in the meta. Except for the fucking stunlock meta back before Overwatch 2 came out. Because it literally got rid of her one advantage she had, which was literally being able to teleport around people without people being able to see where she was going. I mean, yeah, you can predict it, but that's a mix of luck and such a high level of skill that most people can't predict. I mean, Mortar kind of has that. Kind of, but like, it's not three times in a row and then she gets the oh shit, I shit my pants, get out of free jail button. Get that jail free button, unless she dies in one hit. Okay, she's not like broken. I just hate fighting her because she doesn't feel consistent to fight. We got him. She's not this unkillable <laughs> monster no, 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 no. or anything like that. She has like <laughs> cool. the biggest skill ceiling in the entire game, though. I like, her, like her, Genji. There's a couple characters out there that just have incredibly high skill ceilings. Oh damn, he just juked the shit out of me. See, he'd win in a fight with someone with a baseball bat. <laughs> oh gosh, ah. Oh dear. Dude, that same move keeps hitting me every time. I'm not saying I'm he dodging the back. <laughs> I'm saying that I'm getting He's hit going by, after a, me for sure. by a moderately slow moving forearm with all the weight balanced way at the other end. 
Oh my god, you got to go after? <laughs> I know it, I know it. He knows who the weak one is, Andrew. <gasps> oh, get near me, get near me. Oh, damn it! That dude was so good. bullshit. He still wants Andrew. He <laughs> hates this man. I, I hope you all win. Distract him! <laughs> I hope y'all win! <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm trying! I believe in you, Mr. King! Fuck you! Hey! <gasps> Y'all beat him? Hell yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! And I still got a fly. You know, I'm a drink on you. Come here, Mesmer. I still glug, got five. Glug 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 glug. <laughs> and he's a crown on your head, buddy. <laughs> I am so happy y'all beat him. Wait, now what? Now we. Uh, now we have to go to that shadowy temple, but Andrew's gonna leave soon, so I say we just explore around the map. All right. Very exciting life. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna go to the gym and then, and then come back. Hopefully. Yeah. Man, yeah, while Andrew is here, I say we go explore around the map. Yeah. Chicago like I'll be gone. Like uh, on the map. definitely we'll be gone for an hour. Oh, we have a minutes. whole upper area. I found Bonnie Village. Remember now we can explore that whole area behind where. Bonnie Village. Oh, what about what about that one fort the, I found? Give not. What about what about uh? Oh wait a second, I haven't discovered that one yet. Well, there's um the fort of reprimand. There's um one place we haven't been to down here. I want to go to fort of reprimand. What about that one fort that was like high high up there, and then the freaking dudes were throwing like fire pots at us. I know how to get there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I, I know how to get there too. I want to go to Fort to... Reprimand. I'm. It's... I'm behind the Fort of Reprimand. Yeah, I got I got there too. I jumped up there from uh down below. I got on this giant spirit tunnel and just launched yeah, myself to Fort I of Reprimand. So I jumped up there and I was like, uh oh, I'm somewhere else. Yeah. Summon me there. I want. I always wanted to explore that area. Andrew, you know what a Fort of Reprimand is? Andrew might actually only have the outside grace. There's Let a great me outside see. Fort of Moral Fort Highway of South. Reprimand. That's what it's called. Hold on, I gotta go pick some flowers. Are you talking about the one behind the dragon? Can you get yes. unloaded? Oh, of those um, I haven't somewhere? discovered that one yet in my character. Uh, so let me go. Yeah, just around church. After I'll, I'll go actually grab some with you as well, so I can just give you mine because I have 118 fur calling fingers remedies. So I'm so happy we were able to. Go ahead. I'm so happy we were able to beat Mesmer. Uh, Mesmer is such a good fight. He was. Definitely takes a good amount of time to beat him, but yeah, we you definitely He's get just, him. Uh, that second phase, the first phase you master relatively quickly. That second phase, not so much. You really gotta met, like learn it, and I started getting good at it. I was only he one goes, when He we goes wild on that way. one. <laughs> yeah, I was only uh, I was 126 when me and Andrew beat him. Good luck on that dragon, soldiers. So Mr. K still wins the low-level contest. He does. Cause me and Andrew jumped up to like level like. I was 126. I don't know what level Andrew was. He was probably lower than me. 114. Oh, well, there you go. All right, Andrew was expecting me to do last night when he messaged me, like, we're still on. Like, yeah, it's 1.30 in the morning. Congratulations. <laughs> Beyond. He just wanted, he was hoping that you'd get on and we could play together, but I was like, Mr. K's probably not getting on. I just told oh, him, okay, I don't well. think, me no think that Mr. K wanted to get on right now, and Andrew was like, like, I, I, got, I got stuff to do in the morning. <laughs> ah, shut oh, up. You exciting know gonna... news. Good oh, news, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to tell you some good news that's going to sound a lot like bad news. I got a letter today from the IRS. 
Wait, what? That, that could be good news. Continue. What was it about? I have been approved. For what? Uh, I am now the president of One Man Down Limited. Hey. Wait, what does that mean? His game company has been approved. It's it's a <gasps> real company now. Oh, oh hell yeah! Database. I am really I'm really proud of you, Mr. K. <laughs> and now we need to figure some stuff. Oh. Like because, what games to make? Because if we are going to make tribe like we've been planning on, I totally want to do. I definitely want to make more games after my, uh, oh my, oh lord. my lord, which will be out in 2024. We hey. might have to figure out what to do should we lose Frost, because I find it very likely that there won't be a Frost around after Oh My Lord is done. Oh, also, I'm going to put my sign down by the Fort of Reprimand. I mean, if you like... If Oh My Lord is actually, well, like, a big success, you might have, like, eager game developers, like, chopping at the bit to come and join you. Even, like, oh, if, yeah. I, if I go on the subreddit where I found Frost, and I'm like, look, I made this game. I have a company. Join me. <laughs> it might be like... <laughs> And Joy. he has shown that he can produce some stuff. Join the dark side. I am producing. The power. I'm just out here squirting. I'm really proud. I'm really, I'm really happy for you, Mr. K. Like, congratulations, man. Thank you. So one like thing that I thought about before. And I looked up, it is possible to make an online game. I might want to take a look at Game Maker Studio. Ooh. That's, that's, that's an okay one. It's not bad. Uh, they use that to make Spelunky. It is capable of multiplayer games. We are definitely doing some 2D thing. If we're going like Fat Princess style, that works perfectly fine. Where we do like a isometric, kind of like Zelda do. Or Don't Starve Together kind of thing. I still think a fun uh, thing that we can have a foray into is uh, RPG Maker games. Oh yeah. I don't, I don't if, if I Andrew get, does like, all the, if Andrew does all the art, we could literally make like an LBCC like fucking RPG Maker game. That would be funny. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to start with that though. <laughs> I feel like we should make like an actual like good. Serious, like maybe like a horror game. I or be a we could castle. just make a like a good turn-based RPG game. I actually want to make a game like Fear and Hunger that there is fighting, but it is also horror. Ooh. I wonder if you can do a thing on uh, RPG Maker where we could make maybe like a more brutal turn-based game kind of like darkest dungeon where it's like really hard and like yes fear and hunger oh fear and hunger yes fear and hunger absolutely blows darkest dungeon out the water like in terms of difficulty like it's literally one of the most beloved like fucking like games out there it has fighting in horror it's fucking brutal and has you know it's gonna be bad when they have penises on screen <laughs> I feel like I saw some of that. that yeah, funny. Fear and Hunger, they have Fear and Hunger 1 and 2, and they're both very beloved. It's exactly what you're describing. Actually, I want... Also, this is game I want you to ditch out, Mr. K. That, that kind of reminds me of that, like, turn-based kind of game. I love turn-based games. Yeah, this like, is a game called Felvidic. It's like an old-fashioned... It's like a retro kind of style of game. But yeah, if you're in hunger, every part of your body has, like, health and shit. If a character loses an arm, you're just not getting that arm back. Oh, and when you yeah, die, I remember whole... you saying about that. That sounds so cool. I really want to play that now. Yeah, and you can lose people permanently, and just, your only option is just to completely restart the game. Like, you can completely hard lock yourself. Just, like, I can no longer progress. Like, 
like two of my characters died and my last character's missing both of his arms. Oh my gosh, so that's, that's how the game's gonna play? That's actually yeah, pretty, that's, that's how, not like a challenging game. Well, there's situations game. that could just, it's very challenging and it's very gory and has a, has a nice story to it. It fucking has like tons of like different endings and shit. Right, could you probably you add, could you uh, probably add infections to it too? Like if you don't uh, think your wounds in time? Probably. There's also the uh, pinecone mod or whatever it was that just it put pinecones over all the tits and dicks. <laughs> I'm, by the way, I'm by the Castle Ripper, man. <laughs> I don't know. It was like some specific weird thing. It was some weird specific. I don't know if it was exactly pinecones, but it just put like some weird specific thing that made no sense. They could have just did blur lines, but they did like like cucumbers or pinecones or something like that. <laughs> now, you see, cucumbers I got. Put a cucumber over boobs, doesn't make any I'm gonna sense. I'm going to leave. Actually, I'm going to leave already. Sense. I'll be uh, back, guys. That's not what I was uh -oh. thinking. Andrew's leaving already. Well, yeah, I'm going to go to the gym right now. What do we want to do while the Andrew's gone? Uh, don't know, because we don't know if he's going to be back. I mean, I will come back home. I mean, I... Uh... I'm sure you'll come right. back home eventually. <laughs> like you're not gonna. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> like you're not gonna go to the gym and then just stay there forever. It's just... <laughs> just that. That's what you were hearing when you walked in on us. I was telling Andrew if he keeps going down the road, he's going. We're gonna leave him behind because we've had this for damn near like a week plus up now, and we barely got into play because Andrew just hasn't been able to be on, and he made this date with us, like, to be here, and then he's leaving super fucking early, and we did nothing pretty well, much. Well, he did originally say Saturday was his day. Yeah, he meant Friday, but then oh. I was like, you're, you invited us on Friday, yeah, so you're dude. leaving early on Friday. I'm like, what was the point? Why did you invite us here just so you could leave in 30 minutes? <laughs> he did say that I was like, Mr. K definitely, like, Heard Saturday, and I did too, because Mr. Kale was like, Why Saturday? <laughs> Yo, I mean, we can, we can check the footage, because we probably have the footage. <laughs> Mr. Kale was genuinely confused. I was telling him about it. I'm like, Oh, well, yeah, it is weird Saturday. He's like, I, I meant Friday. I'm like, We heard Saturday. But Mr. K made a whole comment about it. Like, why, why, why Saturday? Why because I was Friday? like, So I got canceled my plans on Saturday. <laughs> Hi. Well, I'm gonna go to the gym right now, guys. Well, okay? that reminds me. All right. All right. All right, back on. All right. Bye. And we never heard from him again. Mm-hmm. Man, I wasn't trying to be mean to him. Like Andrew, you got a few more days. If you're not on at least like two or three more days, dude, we're playing without you because I'm not. It, we've had it for a week plus some now, and Andrew barely played with us. Like, it's, it's, it's slow to a crawl. I mean, we're almost done. It's like, dude, we would have been done, like, days ago if you got on it any normal time. Not like being me on my Andrew. I don't want to wait three to four weeks to be a DLC that everyone else is beat about a third day. It is not because we're actually all that busy. You just have horrible scheduling plans. Horrible schedule planning skills. <laughs> like today. Hey, guys, be here Friday. Me and you arrive. Andrew, sorry guys, I gotta leave in like an hour. Bye. <laughs> like, okay. Bye, Andrew. <laughs> See you, love you, bye bye. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm still picking up earth leaf uh, flowers by you, for you, by the way. Hey, you should look up some stuff about fear and hunger. It seems like something you'd like. Well, first all feared hunger. I was like, yeah, it's on Mr. K would like probably. It's brutal, unforgiving, yeah, full of atmosphere. Oh yeah. Roll, roll, fight the power. 
I'm being summoned to another world. How? What? At the hunter? I don't want to be a hunter. No! <gasps> Save me, Mr. K! They're summoning me. Uh oh. Um. Hmm. Yeah, that's what that's what we what we were talking about. When you walked in on us. Oh, yummy land squirts. I'm and fine. Like you're like we'll leave without you. I'm fine just waiting. Pretty much indefinitely. I am someone who likes the experience, especially something I'm, like, passionate about. If it was, like, something I really didn't, like, just something I played, I wouldn't care. Like, freaking, uh, like, Sky. Fucking, I've been saying, like, I'm, I like Sky, but, like, I'm not, like, literally chopping at the bit to play. I'm not, like, literally avoiding spoilers and fucking not looking anything up about the game and... You know, like, actively, like, sitting there, like, wanting to consume media, but not because I don't want to get spoiled and spoil it for y'all, too. And the longer that somebody's being an asshole and not scheduling properly and stopping me from playing, I'm like, uh... Like, you clearly don't care about how I feel, so I probably shouldn't care about how you feel. Yeah. Well, like... It's like, cause he's saying he wants to play a lot, like, uh, God, I really want to play, like, Andrew, you had a whole week. Like, like, we're not rocket scientists here, like, none of us are that busy. Like, we're not, like, constantly in a medical lab looking up fucking, like, cures for diseases working 12 to 13 hour shifts every single day. Like, we all work pretty, like, standard-ish jobs, like, we're not, like, doing anything crazy here. Like, you had plenty of time. You just chose to do everything else except play. That's all, like... Like, even with you, when I asked you to play, even though it was on a day that you really, like, didn't have all day to play, you still got on with me while I was like, oh, you want to, like, go do shit on Elden Ring? And you were like, sure. Yeah. Andrew just disappeared for days on end. I had barely gotten in contact with him, but he keeps saying how much he wants to play. But he's doing everything else except playing. Like, today, he invited us to play today. And that was kind of the final straw. He's like, yeah, I'm going to the gym. I'm like, Andrew, I'll be honest here. It's been a week and like three days since the shiz came out. It's been like eight or nine days. Like, bruh. Like, like it, we played like two times. Technically three, but that was for like a couple minutes we played. Like, I am bruh. at the main academy gate. I'm just going to tell you that information. And you can do with it. Do with that as I will. I'm gonna get on a different character that has a lot of earthly flowers. I'm gonna give you a bunch. Because I love you. Also, so you just don't gotta worry about them. But yeah, I'm not trying to be mean to Andrew. I'm just being realistic here. I'm actively avoiding spoilers. So I don't want to spoil anything, but like, it's been a week in some. Every, almost everyone's done with the DLC, and I'm still sitting like a stump on a log, not able to, like, with the community. I'm happy on my log. I'll be, I don't mind. <laughs> Man, motherfucker, fuck your log. It's, it's part of my <laughs> culture, and you're like, that's not a culture. I'm like, freaking, yes it is. It's not a culture, it's a trauma. That's also true. <laughs> I'm making light of my trauma. Culture. It's a, it's 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 stem from a form of abuse, Mr. K. It's not your culture. You're just traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> you just start crying like, like just because it's true. You don't gotta say it. <laughs> Sometimes your uncle comes in, I cheat your sleep. It's fine, Ty. It's my culture. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not your culture. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> but no, uh, you're, you're definitely a little more fucking lenient with it, but with me, when I'm passionate about something, I don't really feel like I should have to wait that long, and if 
somebody wants to play with me, they clearly just play with me, and if they're not, they clearly just don't want to play that bad. <laughs> Have, like, mutual understanding. It's like, oh, they really want to play it, so I should play it with them. Not, you know, do everything else except play, a la Andrew style. But that's why I told him, like, front out. I'm not gonna, like, talk shit behind his back and plan behind him. Like, just, Andrew, it's been a week and some. You barely played. You invited us today and you fucked off in the wherever. Left us behind when you he's invited going, us here. He's going to the gym. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to the gym. Literally, as soon as you told us, be on an eight. You made this date. <laughs> it's weird calling it a date, but that's what it is. You made this date. You planned this date. This is your idea, and you left us. <laughs> That's how, why I drew the line. We'll see how <laughs> scary these are in PvP. Uh, Earthly Flower, Earthly Flower, where are they? Wait, uh, I'm gonna try something. Uh. Okay. There you go. I wanted to see if you could right, backstab yeah, no. with perfume and what that would look like. Dude, they should make a backstab with perfume. You just like grab them from behind, pull their head back, and just pour it down their friggin' throat. Pretty friggin' <laughs> brutal. Alright. Fight to me, hook. Is your poison <laughs> gone from when I hit you? Oh. Yeah, it's pretty much gone. It's literally like okay. almost gone. Now you're not you're not gonna wanna start with that. That move is so fucking intimidating. <laughs> Ow! Yeah, it lingers. Like the cranberries. Ah! Oh, play, I'm poisoned. You know I'm such a fool for you. You got me wrapped around your finger. How'd that make you feel? Oh god, you got out the rapiers. Come here, boy. <laughs> Come here, boy! Close. About as close as you can get. Uh, yeah, the poison was gonna kill me anyway. She fucking destroyed me with that poke. Really slammed on the ground, you just ducked out and just stabbed up right to my heart. That was the idea. I hate that freaking lizard mouth. That's all I know to call it. Oh. Uh, oh, my fucking uh, breath attack with the aspect of the crucible. <laughs> I love it. Why do you hate it? It's my favorite. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> it's so annoying. It's like. <laughs> I'm just gonna make fire for like a long time. You either gotta get hit by fire or just like go away and wait. <laughs> uh, just stop doing it, this. Act it actually doesn't do a lot of damage. It's actually kind of worthless. But oh, I my love the shoot right in the face. <laughs> no, don't shoot me in my frog oh, throat. Trying to blow <laughs> Leave, me. Me Leave me alone. <laughs> You should head over to Pawnee Village, though, just so you have it. Uh. I can see you doing that, um... That a what? That's wrong. That thing, my dark soul, hand it over. Oh, dry leaf Dane, please no. You're doing that running attack. I can see you doing that running attack. While, like, you're getting ganked, and then just poisoning freaking everybody, and they're just like, well, alright. 
<laughs> like, dang it. <laughs> That was... We had such an easier time fighting Mesmer. Beautiful. Bye, Dean. That was a fun fight. <laughs> what, with Mesmer? With Dean. Oh. It's like two dudes going at it. Pretty easy. <laughs> I had a good time. I love two dudes going at each other. It's my favorite thing. Whoa. See, it was normal when I said it, and then you said it, and then all of a sudden it seemed abnormal. Why? I just love two goods going at each other with big, long ruts. Oh, uh, okay. What, man? Oh, no. It's just warfare. Why are you being so weird about it? Why are you making it weird? All I'm saying is, it's all fair and love and war. Not what I'm talking about sounds like war. What you're talking about, I'm not Number sure. Twelve, cock. I'm more like some. Uh... <laughs> Why the man loves another man? <laughs> Going deep in this, in this the hole. I'm gonna go deep in your hole. <laughs> Into deep. You know I'm such a fool for you. You got me wrapped <laughs> around your finger. Oh God. <laughs> but also because I'm in too deep and I'm trying to keep no, no. all the cum uh, no. in my balls. No. Instead, it's in your asshole. Or just stick to the cranberries. <laughs> Please. No. Stick to the cranberries. Is... No, I'm good. No, you're not a fan of the cranberries? I'm just, I'm just a big fan of some 41. <laughs> What, what is Sum 41? They're a butt rock, right? That's what they call them. A what? That kind of music. Butt rock. It's like the type of music that they sing. I had one of those. I had to go to the doctor. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Behold. My cock. You more of a zombie guy? Maybe. Probably not. Hey, Mr. K, you want to help me kill Moog? Four. Hey. Thank you all for helping me murder weird, strange. Probably not pedophile, man. Uh, no, Mikola might have been pulling the strings. I kind of feel bad for Moog, which is weird to say. It doesn't feel like Friday. What, does it feel like a Thursday still? It feels like a Saturday. It's Saturday! It's Saturday! Alright, my sign's down outside the boss. Wait, do I have... the thing I need? Do I have the blood crystal? I hope so. So I got, I got this. Yes. It's 
smoke cock. I gotta head there. Okay, I wanna head to the deal to see with this character. I'm uh, I'm in negotiations. With? King Chester. Oh. I'll expect you to know who that is. I don't. That's my nuzlocking partner. Oh, did you just fart? No. Maybe. But anyways, we lost our soul link, so now we gotta decide what we're doing tomorrow. Have you considered gay sex? I have. He's not into it. Damn it. I'm so sorry for your loss. So, there's some really cool videos, like starter battles. Uh-huh. So what you do is you go, you go, you get like your Pokemon starters, but they're randomized, right? Mm-hmm. And you look at the starters, and the other person can't see the starters. And then you, there's like uh -huh. uh, an aspect that you tell them that's decided like beforehand, like um, how much they weigh, what type they are, what's the last move they learn, what kind of porn are they into. So, you're like, uh, oh, this first starter is into uh, tentacle hentai, and you're like, wow, that could be like tentacruel, that could be octillery. I got some kind of idea, and you do that for all the starters, and they're like, I'm going to pick the one that's into tentacle hentai, and you're like, wow, that's a tentacruel. Good pick. And you do that six times until you have a Pokemon team. And then you battle. It is time to sex, sex, sex. And it's, sex. Ex it's extremely good content because it just it's just funny because you can have like you can pick like the sentry over the Mewtwo. But you don't know who uh -huh. it is. And it just it's just great fun. It sounds fun. Very fun. Sounds silly. I want to do Dude, that I wish... with Pokemon Fusion. That's my suggestion. Oh Oh dear god. I feel like that would be really fun. I also want to do a Pokemon Fusion run. I'm gonna do this once I beat the game like regularly, because I'm I'm streaming that right now as well. By myself. If, I need if to you watch beat that. the game and you catch like every Pokemon in Pokedex, you get a cheat item. Think like the gnome in Sims. Where you can like do stuff. And then I can use that cheat item. Do cool challenge runs. I want to take like the 12 weakest Pokemon and then <laughs> use them all together with each other. And have like the worst team possible and see if I can beat the game. How like, many Pokemon be... can you fuse? How many Pokemon can you fuse now together? Just two. Uh, still just a... two. Okay. Yeah, but th there's a lot of combinations. I have what is it like a a Krosma Darkrai, and it's like gross. Sounds gross. I have an Articuno and something else too. I know that Pokemon has like a weird new fucking Pokemon type that isn't that useful. They got Stellar. And like there's really no real stellar Pokemon. It's like an attribute that like gets added to them when you do like a stellar transformation. It's very strange. Do you know what the strongest Pokemon type in Pokemon has been for a while, Mr. K? The strongest type fairy. Do you yeah. want like two typings? Not uh, fairy, no, you're right, fairy. I was gonna say, you want like the best type combination? Because I think that's Fairy Steel. If I'm... Yeah, it's Fairy Steel. Yeah. It's Fairy Steel or, uh. Or, uh. Fucking Fairy, uh. They made Fairy to counter Dragon, but then they made Fairy kind of too good with the sauce. Yeah. And now they gotta make something else. <laughs> now they gotta make something else to fight Fairy. Because Fairy being just like the best is kind of lame. Like, Dragons being the best, it's like, oh, awesome, Dragons. 
They're the best. Makes sense. A lot of legendaries are dragons. A lot of the pseudo legendaries are dragons. Dragons being the best. Good. And that's like, we yeah. made fairy to counter dragon. Now they're the best. It's like, it was cool. And now, I'm here to help you fight Moog. Where are you? Oh, I said I had to go get the stupid tier. Oh, yeah, I gotta put my tier on. I'm just walking. Long, I, long. I killed the bitch. Instead, I'll fuck your butthole because I'm going in and I'll give you a kiss. Try a smoochie on your coochie. Smoochie, smoochie, coochie. Did I do something for you? No? I got one question for you, Mr. K. Do you fear death? Chunky man. That's how um, I get this character up. Depends. Up how am I dying? By my cock. I'm going to fucking fuck you to death. It's actually going to be annoying to fight him. I was at Walmart today. There's this girl and I was like, if she could fucking jump with her thighs, I would be okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> what a thing to just think. I didn't actually think that. <laughs> Until just <laughs> now, right before I said it. There was this one time I was at a Starbucks and they asked me, uh, do I want anything with my, uh, Coffee, I was like, yes, cream, mommy, I mean, I mean, milk, mommy, I mean, breast, mommy, mommy, mommy. <laughs> Alright, I'm here for you. I'm ready to devour you. Alright, where are you at? Where are you hiding from me? Where are you at? Where are you at? Hi, did you know that like the chicken you buy at the, like the grocery store isn't actually like chicken? Nani? I mean, if it's a chicken breast, then where are the nipples, dude? Like, they think they can get sneak that one past us. <laughs> He's too dangerous to be left alive. <laughs> <laughs> he knows too much. He knows too much. Kill him. <laughs> Kill him fucking now. <laughs> like, as soon as you say that, like, people just bust into my house, drag me away because I know too much. <laughs> Hi. Us just, like, just, like, sat here together with, like, really nothing to do. It's just so unhinged. Dude. <laughs> Oh, this is the first time these characters have met, hasn't it? Uh, uh Jean Pei. Oh wait, look. We're twinsies. But I'm black. My hair, I mean. <laughs> yeah, you never met Umbra. I didn't put the tear on. Oh dear. You moron, well, you went to get that too. I did. I did we really gotta, gotta get it. I we just gotta kill him before he has the chance to kill us. I mean, dude, after fighting Mesmer, this is nothing. Stop using the same move. Wow, what a loser. 
loser. That, that wasn't even fair. I heard man. Hello. Thank you. I just bust out your head again and go flying across the room. <laughs> so funny that you oh, said that. God. Like, he took his eye out like, Whoa, me too. I really did say that, that he took his eye out too. And I was like, I was like ah, I met Mr. K, not you. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, I love Umbra so much. She's such a fun character. She uses all like the Godskin Noble stuff. She's got like Black Flame, Scouring Black Flame, Black Flame Ritual, all that shit. She uses three different sides. One with a uh, Black Flame Tornado. One with a uh, Bloodhound Step that has Bleed and Frost. And one with uh, a freaking Spinning Weapon that I enhance with a uh, Blood Flame Blade that bleeds things really fucking quick. <laughs> She's very fun. You're very fun. No, you're very fun. You shut the fuck up. Come, touch the withered cock, Mr. K. And be transported to the land of Femboys. I'm gonna touch that thing. Touch the withered cock. No! Do it. Once. <laughs> you like touch it, it like wraps around your wrist. You, like, ah! <laughs> That's actually terrifying. <laughs> Literally, the dick just wrapped oh, around your wrist. What's the thing I found? What's the thing I found? What is what that did you thing find? that I found? What did you find? Hey, Mr. K, I got a question for you. Would you, would you like some runarks? Um, Umbra has 59, because I was just doing a lot of PvE with her, because I love this build and it's made for PvE. So I just farmed up a shit ton of rune arcs with her. When I, when I was happy with my character that we were doing the DLC with, I made her just so I have something else to do. I'm gonna regret it. DP freaking sucks on this game, but I'm gonna try anything. With my boy. Oh, Ferdinand? Yeah. I don't know. Kindred Rot Exaltation builds are pretty good for PvP. It's just the only issue is they work more in duels than in invasions. To be fair, though, not all the things work in normal invasions because you're always getting ganked. Maybe to be my fair. Running R2. E. Oh, you know something they oh, did crap. in the map that's awesome? What's wrong? What? Well, that's pretty much. Did you just murder somebody? No. Well, that sucks for me more. I spawned oh. in the room right before Mesmer. Oh, no. Well, I was just in really close spaces. But I did poison the phantom. Get fucked, the little one. But yeah, you know what they did, by the way, Mr. K? Like, oh, it's... that's actually pretty cool. No, if you open your map, if you can right now. I hope they did a dance. Oh, if you open your map, hit L1. Summoning pool list. Underneath the uh, multiplayer uh, status display, it shows you everywhere you have a summoning uh, pool. So if you're never sure what summoning pools you have active, 
this literally shows you now what summoning pools you have active. That's literally what you wanted. Because you didn't know what you did and didn't have active. So now you know if there's a spot you want to be summoned in, you can go there and just activate the summoning pool. So, yeah, very, very useful for you. That was literally what you were annoyed by. And I was a little, like, oh, well, I was just complaining. But also, it's a good point. You're like, how do I know what summoning pools I have? And I'm like, you just grab them. But you're like, I want to know what summoning pools I have. <laughs> now you know. My poor everything got squished. Enchanté, Mr. K. Gonna plap you and make you okay. Man, if you ever have, like, want to have a lot of fun time with, uh, PvE, I recommend, uh, starting a new character and running through the game and grabbing every summoning pool you find. And then once you're at the level you want to be, just freaking, uh, use the, uh, freaking little, uh, gold effigy and freaking just have people summon you. All around the world, and you never know what you're gonna get. So every time you get summoned, you're in a different area. So it's just constantly changing, like what you're doing. It's so fun. I really haven't had that much fun in PVE in a Souls game in a long time. And besides, when I'm playing with you and Andrew, but I mean, just by myself. Because usually in a Souls game, I have to go to where I want to fucking be summoned and sit there for like a while. But with that, it can just be summoned anywhere. What's wrong? Going? I'm in bed somewhere. I don't know where they are. Are they doing one of those like AFK farms? Or can you just not find them? Can't find them. I think they put me up on the wall and they're not up here. Where are you? In Mesmer's castle? I'm in the royal capital. Uh oh. Put me on a roof now. Uh -huh. Keep playing music like I'm in combat, but there's no one here. Don't know. Oh, I saw a name. Oh, I got him. Nice. Behold my cock. Also, Mr. K, there's a really cool uh, uh, physics flash you can get, Mr. K. You know what it does? And that might make you be like, ooh. It gives you infinite stamina. Or maybe you're not as hyped for that as I am. Does that sound awesome to you? And that was also to me when I found it. I was like, oh, I wanted that for so long. Fun. This is not fun. <coughs> oh wow. Look at that. 
Let Mike glitching? Hello? Yeah. This is magic spam, dude. How are you supposed to fight someone when there's someone spamming like the craziest spells at you? Oh. Just like for freaking ever. <coughs> Any means necessary? And by that I mean being a bitch. Why, once I'm done with this DLC, I'm probably just uninstalling Elden Ring. That's fine. There's nothing here for me, dude. Unless they have... Ghost has begun to fight. Of course they did. Come in the Phantom right before they go in the boss fog. Unless I add like a good, like, EVP boss, there's nothing here for him. I mean, I love, I love the Souls games. I just, I just think it's a good thing they're slowly killing off the PvP scene. I don't know. Ever since like Dark Souls three, that's all like, I'm here PvP. for. I mean, I'm just here because I love the Soul Series. Like, it's ever since... I can't even say Dark Souls 3. Ever since freaking... Dark Souls 2 PvP has been on a constant downward trajectory. Like, just in terms of quality and, like, reasons to do it... In Dark Souls 1, it was very fun and, like, Casual and it was, like, it was a couple sweaties, but Dark Souls 2 there were a lot of sweaties. Bloodborne didn't have PvP, and Dark Souls 3 had way too many sweaties. And Elden Ring is even worse. <laughs> All the ganking stuff aside, like it's just it's not fun to do PvP anymore because you don't get those casual fights anymore. It's always just a one sided slaughter on one side. There's really just nothing to do unless you are like so good at the game like some YouTubers and shit are with Elden Ring. Because these motherfuckers make killing gang squads look easy. Like he literally walks into the fucking fight, hosts his two phantoms run up, he switches his weapon, kills a fucking phantom in like five seconds, switches to a different weapon, kills another one, then chases down the host like it's nothing. Like damn. Like, I almost feel bad for them. How, like, awful these some of these YouTubers be beating their asses. I like PvP in, like, every Souls game except for this and Bloodborne. My favorite PvP was probably still Dark Souls 1. My favorite was Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 was really good. But I didn't like the tweaking in Dark Souls 1. But I think Dark Souls 3 PvP just felt, like, just weird. I hate hyper armor. It was a lot of hyper armor and not a lot of ways to get around it. Hence why I like Elden Ring's PvP more, because yes, Elden Ring also has hyper armor, but there's so many things you could do in Elden Ring that beats hyper armor. Like Ash is the war you can use, you have like tons of spell variety, so if someone's just abusing hyper armor, you can just outrange them. I just hated Dark Souls 3, because Dark Souls 3 is what El everyone says Elden Ring is. Just two meatheads with heavy armor just slamming into each other. That was literally the high-level play of Dark Souls 3. Just two dudes with fucking full Havel's arm on, or like, Drang Lake armor with pieces of Havel on. Literally just swinging Ultra Great Swords at each other, and just praying to God that they have better fucking equipment on. And that was the end game of Dark Souls 3.
I mean, it doesn't make it bad. It's just not what I want. Because it's not bad. It's just not what I wanted in a Souls PvP. And Dark Souls 2 was just really clunky. I could never get into the PvP. And Bloodborne didn't have PvP, so... <laughs> Let's try this. <laughs> doesn't count. The two more times that I can. Put me at the bottom of this hill every single time. But uh, just for me, PvP in Souls games has been dead for quite a while. I am super... I've always been in the Souls games for the uh, PvE. And the PvP was just a fun thing I could do when I didn't feel like, you know, doing PvE anymore. But once you beat the boss, you're done. Like, very good. Time to go home. Like, the show's over. I mean, doing challenge runs, doing fucking... Doing freaking with new weapons and new rules and stipulations to run through the game with. You know, it's like the same thing with Pokemon. Like, once you beat Pokemon, there's never really another reason to play. Other than running through the same content with just different Pokemans. Like, why do people think this is fun? What are these people doing? I got killed by three people, and it was very entertaining for them, I guess. Well, I mean, to be fair, they were probably just running through the game. They're, they're sitting at the top of the four belfries, just with three people. There's nothing to do up there. What are they doing? One of them is a red. <laughs> why is he there? Oh, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. To plap your butthole. I've right had here. like two disconnects because I went in the boss fog. One where I got put in a room with two people. Uh, like two other ganks, and then one with a guy who was clearly using a taunter's tongue with a crossbow that acts like a shotgun. I got hit with multiple sleep bolts at one time. Why do these rocks cancel my invasion? And like, yeah, every single one has sucked. They all suck every single encounter. I mean, I get, I do PvP occasionally in Elden Ring. I don't really find like all that many issues. But yeah, if they're gonna make another Souls games, they definitely still have to address the fucking PvP because it's been shit for a long, long time. It hasn't though. It was really good it, in Dark Souls Three. It peaked in Dark Souls One. That was the, like absolute because Dark Souls One had cheesy shit, yeah. But Dark Souls One was the fucking like fairest it's ever been, and, like balanced it's ever been. Like everyone could pretty much use everything. Dark Souls 3, there are just entire weapon types, like the club weapon types, that just are not viable. Bye, host. I just invaded and murdered someone. Poor bastard. I have 60 rune arcs now, yay. That guy did not stand a chance. Him and his phantom ran up to me and I literally black tornadoed them. Fucking damn near killed the phantom. The host tried to run and I just fucking cut him in the back. <laughs> you know I think the biggest problem is literally everything has a range attack. My sword has a range attack. His spear has a range attack. Because if you fought someone in Dark Souls 3 and you got someone at low HP and then their phantom like ran up to save them, the host had to run away and heal and then run back to you to attack you. Now they just push R2. And while you're fighting, literally half of your HP goes away because everything has to two-shot you in this game. 
I mean, to be fair, it's the same in Dark Souls 3. It's not the same in Dark Souls 3. It's okay, I literally played Dark Souls 3, like, a week or something Name ago. Name five and weapons got... with weapon arts that are range attacks. In Dark Souls 3? Yes. The, uh, fucking Madeir Sword has a ranged attack. Moonlight Greatsword has a ranged attack. Fucking, uh... Shit, what the hell is that one straight sword? Uh, Lothric Sword has two ranged attacks. Shall I go on? I mean, I said five. But, well, but I'm just literally saying, there's, there's every, so, every weapon in this game has a ranged attack. Every that's, that's single one. Name one that doesn't. That... You can just uh, put well, the weapon art on him. Well, yeah, but that's that's a player choice thing. But that, who that give, wouldn't that, that's, who wouldn't just have a free range attack? I don't have a ranged attack. I have well, a black flame tornado. It's a bit of an a it's a bit of an AOE, but it's easily dodgeable. Like, there are plenty of weapons in Dark Souls 3 that have, like, very, very good ranged attacks. Alright. Oh! What just happened to... Oh, that's what happened. The host was cheating. The blue that invaded was shocked. The host was hitting me from a mile away. Even blue was looking around like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> My plea plea fell off. Bandai Namco Entertainment from Sufware. Yes, yes, yes. First good fight I've had. I didn't want to talk out my ass, so I definitely I got on to actually point. look up what hey, I definitely got on to look up what weapons have like ranged attacks or ranged esque attacks that cover crazy high grounds. The Fair and Great Swords, Ring Knight paired Great Swords, the Dragon Slayer. The Ring Great Knight Axe. paired Great Swords. Come on, that's not a ranged attack. Mr. K, they cover so much distance. <laughs> It's the same way with Elden Ring. Elden Ring barely has any ranged attacks with melee weapons. They just cover big ground because a lot of them have giant lunging arcs. I had my first good fight. Nice. Dude, there's so many weapons in Dark Souls 3 that have ranged attacks. And that actually makes it worse. Because it's the Tracer phenomenon that I hate in Overwatch. Where a character or a weapon or something doesn't follow the rules and it gets special exceptions that the other weapons don't get, that makes it very fucking powerful. Like the Dark Drift Sword and the Dragon Slayer Great Axe have huge AoEs and long range attacks that other weapons just can't compete with in their class of weapons. Like they're just definitively the better weapons. I mean, Gale Sword is fucking super, like, AoE in a sense. Very hard to hit. You get a crazy hitbox. You jump all around the place. Why am I invading another world? 
Do I have the Aldridge ring on? I am in the Aldridge company. Could not join, failed to, could not invade, failed to join session. Does this give me rune arcs? Uh, for killing people, yeah. I don't want to go to Gang City. I mean, honestly, the only game besides Dark Souls 1 that had, like, actually, like, balanced, like, movesets that didn't have too many things with ranged attacks was Dark Souls 2. I like Dark Souls Surprisingly. Too. Surprisingly. Dark Souls 2 had a few, but usually, because Dark Souls 2, the way they did their stuff, it was weapon durability, like Dark Souls 1. So they were few and far in between. They usually had giant wind-up moves. That's why when people complain about Elden Ring's shit, I'm like, dude, Dark Souls 3 had it too. You just, everyone's just forgetting that. And I'm how sure broken that. Dark Souls 3 was. It still is. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, I died in two hits in PvP. Motherfucker, have you played level 125 combat and deals in Dark Souls 3? You get like three shot by a straight sword, my guy. Like, if I invade someone right now, I guarantee I will literally get like two shot by them. And I'm wearing giant heavy armor. And I guarantee I will two shot them. Well. The only thing that Dark Souls 3 has over Elden Ring that I will never be able to deny is host priority. I want to they experience need to bring... fear. <laughs> fear? Yeah. Remember when we played Dark Souls 1 and we got invaded? It was freaking scary. It's not scary in Elden Ring. It's just like, oh, free souls. This dude is AFK. Well, I guess I can test my theory. Let's see how many t t it takes to kill him. Two. Took two. Yeah, with the Dragon Slayer Great Axe, I'll have a strength build. Took two hits to kill him. One epic battle. I'm also really getting tired of them placing me on the other side of mountains. Like, why'd you put me here? Put me closer to the action. Host with two phantoms. Awesome. Let's try the uh, Ubudachi and Ubikiri. I want you to watch this stream back and tell me how this is fun. I, I do, I do agree that they need to fix prioritization because they also need to change how the rune arc system works. That you need to have a rune arc to be able to summon people. And if you have a rune arc activated, it gives you big bonuses like the Dark Souls Ember system does. It gives you health and something else depending on what rune arc you use. And it, it encourages people to have rune arcs activated so they can get invaded by themselves. And not only prioritize hosts that are with fucking phantoms. Because it's such an easy system to fix. I don't know why they don't do it. And you know how they can fix it, Mr. K? With, uh... 
freaking that it would actually make the game like even like still just as fun if they don't gotta get rid of the full finger remedy you wanna know what that is? what's that? you use a rune arc and you can summon someone easy peasy lemon squeezy when you do that your world opens up to one invader and then if you wanna summon another person you fucking use a full finger remedy then you can summon two people but then that opens your world up to two more invaders. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Like it literally solves itself. If you want to summon people, you use a rune arc. If you want the rune arc bonus, you gotta risk getting invaded. And if you want to summon more people, you gotta use a furl finger remedy, which then only bolsters the chances of getting invaded. Also, let's please not forget about the fact that in Dark Souls 3, uh, gang squads were still kind of worse. Because the host could have three phantoms. Yeah, but I could... Killing three phantoms in Dark Souls 3, I can do with my eyes closed, dude. Oh, no, man. Like... I had higher level builds. I had the giant. It wasn't just like, oh, low level. Like, I had the giant dad build. I was invading people in like the snow area. Whose name I cannot remember. Because the most memorable part of that area is Orlando. Irithel? Yeah, Irithel. I was invading in Irithel. And I also invaded in the... After... Right, or no, it was right before Dragon Slayer or more. So I was invading late game. I would stop people near, like, literally every time. I don't know about that. Fucking Dark Souls 3 has a lot of shit with it that makes it way more unforgiving than Elden Ring. This game still has some really broken weapons like the Ubidachi and Ubikiri. Stand with you, fool. Calm down. <laughs> Watch the fight. I joined the fight club. Oh, my God. I... Still to this day hate God, Elden Ring has spoiled me. I'm not getting any evasion, so now I have to start the long process of fucking warping between fucking bonfires to try and find a spot to ah, evade. I feel that, dude. Can we just heal in fight clubs now? Just like. Oh. Oh, so I'm watching you. Not that I know of. I wanna no. know why you're approaching on the fight. I don't think people just heal and fight. Oh, wait, is that it's the end of the fight? Did they do good? <laughs> Did Caesar put his... Caesar put his... Hey! Caesar put his thumb up! Stop swinging! <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever seen. Okay, this is fun. What's happening? Caesar has spoken. Hey! Hey! I'm in gladiatorial combat. What am I what am I hearing right now? <laughs> Caesar, what are you doing? Caesar. Caesar! Is Julius Caesar or Caesar! 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 Stop stop being Caesar! No! No! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything all right, my guy? Yeah, I'm watching Caesar. Caesar, are you okay? Where's the other dude? Dude, what's going on? I'm so confused. Oh, thank you. All right, I think they're fighting now. I'm not gonna. Because before I was like, but now this is just they're just fighting. That's really weird. Oh, yeah, I got other characters I can switch to. I forgot about that. Stuff. Low game. Let's go to Shishi -Shi on this game as well. I forgot. I have Shishi -Shi in every single version of Souls games. I'm gonna get closer, dude. You wanna come over with me? Huh? Me? No, this dude. Oh, okay. He's got a stick. He's cool. 
Dude, I don't want to fight Julius Caesar, dude. He's nuts. Also, I already know you hate this weapon, but I'm gonna mention it, Mr. K. It's another weapon with, with uh, AOE or like some kind of weird range. Freight A Scythe. Freight A Scythe's not bad. The Dragon Slayer Sword Spear. Caesar! No! The Freight A Scythe is cancer, but I love it. Dang it, Julius Caesar got killed. I didn't Aww. get to fight anybody in the Colosseum. And too brute. There was like Wait, a- Plus, if you ever, if you ever want to just enjoy Elden Ring for what it is, literally just host fight clubs. Uh, I could. I mean, that's literally what we did on Dark Souls 3. We did not do a lot of invasions in our heyday of Dark Souls 3. We almost exclusively held fight clubs. Although you say our heyday. Your heyday in Dark Souls 3 and my heyday in Dark Souls 3 are two very different time periods. I was, play I was playing Dark Souls 3 when it was still at its peak and literally, like, things were still being found out. That was, that was the best time. I quit when oh, no. a meta was established. I didn't like the way the game was going. I stopped playing when people realize that no. big weapons and hyper armor means you win. What are you knowing about? What the heck? What? Uh, game, are you drunk? What's wrong? The, the host is in the box and I'm outside. Just chilling. Not done Hey, I won! <laughs> Congratulations. I knew I could do it. I love you. Hey, what are you doing right now? Oh, I'm just invading people on Dark Souls 3. On Dark Souls 3, dude? Bro, you didn't tell me oh, about yeah. Dark Souls 3, dude. I wish I had it installed. I wonder. I wonder if I can install it. I mean, it's like I said, I always go back and like just test it and like I'm, I don't find much difference between Elden Ring and Dark Souls 3 besides like the huge AoEs, but other than that, I usually find that anytime I invade Dark Souls 3, I get the shit there. Oh dear. But yeah, Dark Souls 3, I find I still get the ever-loving shit ganked out of me. It's just fucking a little less of a slow burn. It's a little more of a slow burn. Rather than dying in fucking five seconds, I die in ten seconds. No, but like, I can... I can overcome. Be on your profile, don't. Ash is very ado. That's where it is. Game share. For bestest friends. And, you know what, that's enough, of, that's enough statements out of me. Oh wait, oh crap, I'm you, that's why you can't hear me. Hello. 
Hello. Hi. How you doing? Want to fight club with me on Elden Ring? Uh, sure. I don't mind. Why not? I mean, there's also the biggest issue with us in Elden Ring, which no Souls fan ever wants to hear these words come out of someone's mouth. It's also just a skill issue. Ah! <laughs> you know I didn't want to hear uh, you said it anyways. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, like, the people who play the game, who like it, just like people who like Dark Souls 2, but the people like me who like Dark Souls 1, couldn't get into Dark Souls 2 because we just didn't like it. And it was a big skill issue because we didn't engage with the PvP. Then when we did, it rubbed us the wrong way because we didn't understand the current meta and how things worked. It, it is just a skill issue. Because the people I'm who play... Washed? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> I'm washed! I mean, like... I mean, it's just like with Dark Souls 2. In Dark Souls 2, you can easily beat me in Dark Souls 2. But I could thrash you in Dark Souls 1. In Dark Souls 3, we're a little more even. But in Dark Souls 2, you would fucking swamp me to the ground. Cause I don't engage in PvP in Dark Souls 2 like you did. It's a skill issue. We don't understand the meta. We don't understand what we're supposed to do to fight these, like, specific, like, overpowered, like, wombo combos of ganks that they got going on. But people who play the game consistently know how to deal with gank squads and kill them really easily. Not all the time, obviously. You don't win every fight, but like, it's a skill issue. But anyways, and then people try me? and get in. Yeah, where are you at? I'm going to be me. Academy gate. I got on someone else. I got on a, a, a PvP boy. I'm just on Umbra. Who I believe is a PvP boy. Umbra is a PvE girl, but she could be PvP. I mean... I have, I have oh, a lot of variety. You did a lot of invading with her? No, I did a lot of fucking helping with her. Oh. Who'd you do a lot of invading with? Vlad. Vlad is my PvP boy. He's also my PvE boy as well, but... Vlad is the one who has a big, big body count on him. His body count speaks for him. I think you should word that differently, but it's cool. No, no. Mm-mm. Umbra's body count. <clears throat> Her body count? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember actually killing anyone with Umbra. I mean, maybe I killed a few people with her when I was helping people. So, as far as you know, her though. body count is zero? As far as I know, her body count is zero. Nice. I mean, that's about to change when I murder the shit out of someone. Are you, uh, are you here? Yeah, I'm coming. I got killed by a fly. It killed me when I had my map open, but for some reason my map didn't close until it murdered me. Also, before I switched, Mr. K, when you disconnected, fucking I joined three people on Dark Souls 3. I got uh, summoned to uh, Pontiff Sullivan place after him in Gang City. Literally spawned in with a host and his three phantoms, beat the shit out of me. I mean, well, I Made don't know it. why you would go there. <laughs> well, it just summoned me. I had the thing on. Oh, okay. And oh, then okay. I joined. And then I joined in the Ring City. Got joined the host of his two phantoms. One of them just spanned the fucking electric owl at me every time I tried to attack somebody. And then someone else just fucking kept fucking just chasing me down with dual uh, fucking curve swords. Just spamming the running L1 moves. And you know what I think a lot of it is? Go In ahead. Dark Souls 1, you got like, had your like attunement slots and you brought a spell and you had like this many castings of it. There wasn't a friggin' Ashen Estus Flask. There wasn't like an FP bar. This is what you got. Deal with it. Well, yeah, but Magic and Dark Souls 1 was useless besides Dark Bead and Wog and Tranquil Walk a Peace. 
because got, of that exact I got some mileage out of my Sunlight Spear. Well, that's because Sunlight Spear was a little faster than your average fucking Soul Spear. I gotta go get my red sign. Be right back. Gotta I think that, that the, the invasion level should be different than the in than the like dueling level. Actually, no, I don't. Though, so I think the dueling level should be lower. They're 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 learning though from soft because they're they're adding patches and shit that uh balance the game where they're learning that they need to change. Damage values between PvE and PvP. Because even right now, the Moon Veil, they nerfed the Moon Veil only in PvP, but not in PvE. Because they realize, man, players are doing thousands of damage with each hit they do. Maybe we should scale damage to players differently for fucking the enemies. Just cut, in cut it in half. Like, turn a two yeah. shot into a four shot. I mean, I mean, they're learning. Again, I don't think they're going to do anything with Elden Ring, but, like, I think whatever next game they make, if they add the PvP Dark Souls style, the PvP is probably going to be a little better because they're learning. I'm gonna they say, need to balance the PvP. I'm going to say a statement. Right this. Sure. Shadow of the Erd Tree is the best DLC ever made. Like, period? Period. Like, our souls. No, period. Made a better one. I don't know. Again. There's literally so much content. It's the best. There's new weapon types, Probably. which I absolutely love. There's so many new bosses. It's like hard. It's fun. Best DLC ever made. Elden oh. Ring still ranks really low on my favorite Souls-like games. But you know what? <laughs> like, Elden Ring is steadily moving down. Bloodborne is, has always been low, and it's kind of staying there. But you know what? It is steadily moving up to be like, like I like it more and more and more. What? Demon Souls. Really? It's, it's just a really good game. It's great. I love Demon Souls. Interesting. PvP is not great. But I think PvP... Uh -oh. If I were to rank like all the Souls games just on PvE... I would put Demon's Souls at number one. Interesting. The bosses are just so different and so interesting. And they're, I, I like the gimmicks. And they're not like... Like, there are some bosses in the Soul series that are like bad gimmicks. Mm -hmm. Like... Better Chaos. <laughs> better Chaos. Um, the dragon that you have to jump on his head in Dark Souls 3 makes for a really cool moment. But it's a pretty dumb gimmick, because it's a whole boss that you just don't fight. <laughs> yeah. But, like, the gimmicks in Dark Souls 3 are fun. Like, I don't think any of them have a particularly bad gimmick. You mean Demon Souls? Oh, yeah, what I say? You said Dark Souls, sorry. Ow. Oh, shit, I forgot, I forgot. I'm red, my bad, my bad. Here, I'll You're red. Warming stone on you. Thank you, Here, I'm warming stone. My stone is getting warm. Yes, my stone is getting warm. My stone is getting warm. Is it not working on you? Oh, it's going. Oh, it is. It's cool. Do I need a... I... Do I need a tongue I think level? Uh, yeah, she need tongue butthole and turn off your password. My password's off. Alright, good. So, yeah, you should see people now. What level are you? 150? Yeah. yeah you, should don't, be you don't see this equipment or remember who this is? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. K, what... With the veil, without the veil. Oh my! I don't know, dude. That's a rough one. My fat roll when I put the veil on. 
Well, you found your answer with Val. Well, here, there are just no wait. signs here anymore? I don't think there are. I think everyone's played the DLC. Everyone was playing the DLC. No yeah, one was like, like the, I don't got yeah, 40 like bucks right now. Here. There are blood stains here. It looks like everyone's jumping into the fucking elevator for some reason. Well, this guy's fighting something, buddy. That guy's fighting. This guy's fighting someone. This guy's fighting too. This guy looks like you. Like me IRL or me in this game at the moment? In, in the game, he was using pretty much the same weapons you were using. Slinging. He just had a different helmet. <laughs> Did you tongue butthole them? A tongue butthole. Interesting. Is it me? I can't be right. You should be able to summon two people. Yeah, let me leave, see what happens. I took bonk. no damage, fuck you. Blah bonk. Oh. Did anything pop up? No, I'm not seeing anything. Did you lube up? I summoned you, hey. but how would I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, how would you summon me if you didn't lube up? Oh, the dumb question. Interesting, let me see. Let me, uh... Turn off my password. Lube up. Lube up. Hmm. There does just seem to be no one here. I just think the area is dead right now. There's so many blood signs. Interesting. <laughs> and you're like, no one has 40 bucks right now. <laughs> Literally everybody has 40 bucks right now. You know what also is just really cool that FromSoft does that no other company would ever dare do? What's that? That I love FromSoft for? Literally, if you don't have the DLC, your friend who has it can still give you the shit so you can experience the weapons. Someone summoned me. Down my side, see if someone summons me? I don't see any signs either. It ain't just you. I definitely don't. I don't. I don't see any signs. Hey. Interesting. Hey. I wish there was more than one boy, so it's not. Hey. Hey. It's the same. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I just think it's because everyone uses the default voice because no one cares. There's like three different guys. Sad. I don't see anyone either. This is very strange. people saying still no head no tarnish the head so lonely did they change the dueling spot did they make it so people can't invade here or something what's going on there's still people fighting that guy looks like you he's using a tinge exaltation build Literally, you're not the only one, Mr. K. 
I'm literally seeing messages from other people saying, still no head, no tarnish to head, so lonely. The heck is everyone? I don't know, everyone seems to be aware that no one's here. Let there be romp. Why is it always east? I don't know what's wrong with that guy, west? Be wary of west. <laughs> what is happening in here? <laughs> Did you win your fight? No. You're an interesting strategy. Oh. What do you do? Um, he would block a do like the the shield counter, but he didn't. He was just using a katana. He didn't have a shield. He just tanked the damage with his katana. That's interesting. It was very interesting, and it worked. You know, well. I mean, you it was know, close. I, I but... He might be using that new talisman that boosts uh guard counters. <laughs> and then he sent me a message. He said. Uh, What is that? My eyeball itch. Scratch. Uh, he said, why no heal? And I said, I'm OG, no healing in duel. The Glendale Coliseum, I said, pretty much dead there. He's surprised you're not healing in a duel? These kids nowadays, I don't know, dude. They just heal in duels. Well, it's very bizarre that he... It's not like a fucking OG thing that is still normal behavior to not heal in a duel. Like, did he think this was just an invasion or in something? In Academy like... Front Gate, everything is allowed. I'm like, new to me, dude. New to me. I haven't been New here. to me. Well, I just got here. <laughs> like, I was here day one, and it wasn't like that. Yeah, I'm fucking still not like that. What the hell is he talking about? And where is everybody? That's why, that's why it's dead, dude. There are people healing, and they're like, freaking screw that, man. Everyone started healing and shtees. Oh, you fucking kids with your healing and magic spamming. Oh, you kids with your healing, dude. Like, bro, you're mad at me because I didn't heal against you? Like, what? I mean, what do you want from me, dude? I don't want to tell you. What, are you ashamed you almost lost when you were healing? No, you didn't heal. So why is he talking about you? I don't know. If he will heal, I would Like, what? Heal. Well, what, did he think you were going to heal because you're a bull goat and he thinks you're just a scum? Because most people wear bull goat armors are just bad at the game. Because they're just trying to stack poise so you can just hyper armor through everything. Sorry, honey. He's not one of those players. As much as I'd love to insult him. I'd love to just call you a piece of shit, but no, he's not a piece of shit. He, he don't play nice. <laughs> okay, I'm going to the academy gate with... with Vlad. There's really just no one there, though. Let's see if they're there with him, but I don't... I don't know. This is very strange. <laughs> Oh, there's some people. I'm getting summoned to another world as an adversary. Probably the same dude. You know? I don't know. I didn't feel like it. I only have the FP flask. Aw, oh, dang it. It's, it's this jack wagon. I hate this dude. <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, are we fighting? I summoned you. I summoned you without a pass. So it was another dude, but I couldn't get him in time. Yo, we can fight. Of course you would. I know I would. Stop doing that now. I'm good. I did that because my uh, buff ran out. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I tried to do that earlier and I was two hitting and I blocked. I was like, oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> Those got me killed. Yeah. Vlad is fucking scary. <laughs> Usually I use like swarm of flies and shit, but I wasn't trying to be a cheesy little bitch. <laughs> I don't gotta do you dirty like that. You ain't gonna do me dirty. <laughs> I just got one question, dude. What? Why aren't you healing, bro? Why aren't you <laughs> healing? I don't know why, uh. But put your sign down, Mr. K. I got you, somebody. Is that you? That's a one shot, question mark. One shot? Maybe. I don't know. One shot, maybe? I'll summon him because I can't see you. I mean, I just put myself down. But, summon him and look for me after. Hold up, dude. You gotta be patient. There's someone else coming. Alright, one shot question mark versus Jetstream Sam. Yeah, Jet he's Stream definitely Sam. a one shot. I went shot. to high school with that guy. He's definitely a one shot build because he's giving himself madness so he could do incredible amounts of damage. How long are you gonna buff? Why are you coming towards me, bro? I ain't fighting you. So much for one shot, you missed. He's using a perfumer thing. Oh, these motherfuckers really are just healing. This is wild. Like, why? Dude, dude even the culture sucks. These nerds with their healing. And they're I mean, buffing. come on, man. Come on, Mr. K. You remember how many times we had to just jump people at Dark Souls 1 just because they healed in the middle of a duel? Come on. <laughs> let's, not, let's, not, let's not act like we were a bunch of burgy boys beating the shit out of people because they healed in a duel. We don't heal in a duel. That's the whole point. Back in my day, you can't heal in a duel. I'm OG like that. One shot is definitely losing. I'm OG. I played actually, the original game. Actually, that's not what happened. What? That's not actually what happened. They weren't healing, actually. OG, one shot just uh, healed his fucking uh, madness that he gave himself from the damage. And that was it. Jet Street Sam didn't actually heal. Well, you didn't have time to heal. You got one shot. Okay, he definitely just healed on me. Summon me? No, I did not. Okay, someone else summoned me.
I just had to point down to that. <laughs> Bro, you got absolutely violated. I'm sorry, Jetstream. Are you man. violating boys? I'm vile. I'm dude. I'm cracking open some boys with the cold one. Really? <laughs> he sent me a message saying, "Why is everyone just messaging people? Is this just the culture now? It just if you lose or win, you just talk shit." <laughs> Like, bruh. <laughs> I don't understand. What's the point of dueling culture if there's no more culture? Like, at that point, just invade. You want an invasion where you can be cheap and heal, but you don't want the risk of having to deal with the gank squad. That seems a little back ass words to me. What about you? <laughs> Like, I don't even mind, like, a fight that is, like, anything goes. I don't mind that, but it's just, you completely change the dueling culture to anything goes. I don't know, dude. Let me look up if there's a new fucking dueling area. Maybe they changed it. Maybe it's a new DLC area and that's where everyone is. Let me see. That might have been it. Shut up. What? The mail can be what? I don't know. I just clicked on a fucking on a fucking recommended video and that's just what popped up. I don't know what the fuck it was. Oh no, it's this dude. And he's gonna ask me why I'm not healing. Uh -oh. Elden Ring you New dueling spot better than Coliseum Arena. I'll know it when I see it. Well, I won. That was interesting. I will wait my message. Why do I feel like it's coming? Where are they? They look like there's Stormvale. That is such a stupid location for this. Let me go see if this is true. I'm gonna go see if this DLC spot is true. Did you get your message? Yeah. What'd he say? Yeah. Nothing interesting. Are you sure? Yeah. Hello, friend. Hello. Do you hate this? Do you hate this? Yeah, I kind of do. Stop! Don't before I attack you then. Ah! <laughs> we are lagging very hard. Yeah, it might be because I'm downloading Dark Souls 3. That's why he asked me. That was what the message was. I can't tell what's happening. 
<laughs> we died pretty much at the same health as we had last time. <laughs> Be like, what the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> like, oh well. Feel fine. But what he said, did he just insult you or something? No. <laughs> I mean, it's very cordial. Well, typical gamers, they just tell you to fuck off politely. No. What'd he say? Uh, do you want me to read the whole full conversation? Well, uh, there's a conversation? It's the same dude as before. Why no heal? I'm OG, no healing in duel. And I'll call CM, pretty much dead there. In the county front gate, everything is allowed. New to me. Why did you get so laggy? Couldn't even do anything. I don't know. I'm streaming, everything seems to be running fine. I am downloading Dark Souls 3, however. He says, because you weren't that laggy last fight. I said, yeah, it's probably Dark Souls 3. Like, oh. pretty, pretty normal conversation. Yeah, pretty normal. Like, it's fairly cordial. It's, I'm not, we're not like the bestest of friends, but we're not like, he doesn't hate my guts either. Like I said, it's not, it's not a, that interesting of a conversation. I don't understand why the dude I was, uh, why I was fighting. He healed, so I'm like, hey, man, if anything goes, I don't need to be respectful. And I pointed down, he sent me a message saying, really? Yes. <laughs> like, I don't got to be respectful anymore. It's, if anything goes, why do I got to be respectful? <laughs> you turned him into a monster. Look what you've done, Elden Rolls. <laughs> Elden Rolls. Dude, if they don't make a tabletop RPG called Elden Rolls, then I'm going to... You want to make a bakery shop and do an Elden Ring? Oh my goodness, Elden Rolls. <laughs> Elden Rolls and we like make like the rings like in the, in the fucking like rolls in the shape of like an Elden Ring. <laughs> Just a donut. <laughs> You've reinvented donuts. Congratulations. Well, it looks more like a pretzel. Interesting. I'm trying to see if this spot is actually the new DLC spot. I mean, new arena spot. What I saw a video of people. It's like this weird glitch area you could jump in in Stormvale. And apparently that's where all the duelers apparently are going. And I don't know, maybe it was just like, like a small Stormvale niche Castle? Yeah, I'm just seeing if it's even there. Because realistically, there should be people here. How do I get in there? It's really sad, though, that casuals seem to have just murdered the, Pete, the dueling scene. And I'm not like a fucking video game elitist or anything like that. Like, I'm not like, oh, fucking casuals ruining my gaming experience. But that really does just seem like fucking casuals just overstayed their welcome and wanted the dueling to be more simple in a way that was easier for them and it just there are always going to be more casuals and hardcore players in a game and they just won in the end just by sheer numbers alone uh, you gotta like jump on a bear I don't even know how to do it or if it even works anymore so let me, let me tell you something about Overwatch What's up? There is a community that remade 6v6 and like balanced it for like the new heroes and stuff on the, the workshop. Uh huh. Pretty fun. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, but there's like a Discord Sounds where they fun. get, and then they like play together. Uh huh. So, 
I'm I'm on that Discord. And they all like uh -huh. split up between like PC and console. Yeah. So the the kind of like secondary effect of this is I've been playing Overwatch with a really lot of like grandmaster PC players. <laughs> I got it. It still works. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna activate my finger and see if a bunch of people pop up. How do I get there? Me turn. It doesn't matter, there's no one here. Dang well, it! Well, I'll tell you how. If you want to know, it's still a nice spot. It's like a glitch. Though, like, you, like, face to a wall. Yeah, there's, there's no, there's one, no one there, it's probably not worth it right now. But it is a nice, like, dueling arena. Like, it's, a, like, a perfect shape for dueling. It really is just sad that the dueling scene really is just dead. I wonder if maybe if you go to Lane Dale Coliseum now, you'll find more like people willing to do duels because they all just abandoned the Ryo Lucaria place. I'll go check, see if I can get into a duel in the arena. I want to see if we can get into me too. That's what I actually want to do. What? I actually want to like 2v2, but I never can. You know what would actually make things a lot more fun for people? If when you put down your summon sign as a red, certain stipulations pop up. Like, you can set down certain, uh, like, rules if someone summons you as a red. But, oh, no flasks. You can't leave a certain range from the host. Stuff like that. But, uh, no flasks. Do this what? thing. What? What? Do this thing. What thing? This thing. This thing right here. Dang it, connection was know. lost. Yeah, I'm, I'm lagging. <laughs> Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3, you almost done. One second left. Wow, what a good time to look at it. <laughs> Let's play Dark Souls 3. <laughs> Dark Souls 3 seems pretty dead too, though, to be fair. I was on there at fucking level 125 and couldn't get a single fight going on. I got a couple, but they were like pretty like in between, far in between. I mean, a lot of the Dark Souls 3 players probably play Elden Ring. Probably. So if they prefer, if they, if they still like Elden Ring, but prefer like Dark Souls 3 PvP, they probably got on Elden Ring lately, but then they'll funnel back to Dark Souls 3 once they're done. Maybe. I gotta go activate this yeah. thing. Who the heck are these people? <laughs> What people? In your Dark Souls 3? Yeah. Got Gordon Ramsay. The fuck? Hector with and without money. Nigel <laughs> Thornberry. Is this a juggernaut? Is Nigel Thornberry a juggernaut? Nigel Thornberry was the character you played Dark Souls 3 with us. Oh, yeah. He's level 20. And I switched to Achilles. Not the drink. Alright, cool. I finally got to the Landale fucking. Coliseum. Bro is literally the like a mix between my two. I keep trying to go to the map. <laughs> you still Elden Ring? Yeah, I was doing that too. 
Dude, it's so much better than the Dark Souls 3 traveling system. It's insane. Let's say I'm gonna do just a normal fucking two combatants in a duel in the Coliseum in Lanedale. Let's see how long it takes me to get a fight real quick. I, I got a fight really quick. Literally seconds. I'm going to a fight right now. That's not going to be nearly as fun as a fight club. I joined a fight club in like a random swamp. You know that random swamp? I'm trying to figure out what this guy's MO is. What is his like attack strategy here? Oh, he got me. Well, that was simple, easy, and fast to the point. Let's see if I can get another fight. How long would that one take me? One, two, two seconds to get a fight. There you go, Mr. K. If you ever want duels, you oh. go to Landell. If you want, like, 2v2s, you go to fucking... Maybe not the Ryo Lucaria fucking area is dead, like, thoroughly dead. You could actually go to freaking get some of your 2v2s. We need to find a new game. What do you mean? We need to find a new game. Ow. New fun game. Don't distress. I want something that's multiplayer. Like, not just like, like us playing co-op. I want to play like with us against like other people. But I want something like fun. Like Fat Princess. Or yeah, I don't something like that. Again, that's more like like fun and not just like super competitive. I don't, I don't want to beat a dead the fucking, I want to beat the dead horse, but because of this whole craze of hyper competitive games, it's kill. I used to love, Mr. K, you were there. I used to love multiplayer games like fighting other players, yeah. because of the sweat and competitive nature of games. It's not fun anymore. I'm not fighting people. I'm fighting a meta. I fight the same things over and over again. I'm like, there's nothing worth doing anymore. I get on Overwatch, I fight like the same two or three team setups. Maybe with a little deviation. I get on Dark Souls and Elder Ring, I fight like the same five or six weapons over and over again at nauseum with a little bit of difference between them. When did Andrew I get off uh, a while ago. He, he left at like <laughs> fucking eight around nine. It was they close was to... I got an invasion. Like, Dark Souls is like a hard game. But I feel like fight clubs are still pretty fun. Oh, yeah, because most people who like go to fight clubs usually are looking for something a little more casual, but like, they usually are still sweats. Especially you get those motherfuckers who go in there with like a whole battle strategy, and as soon as they see what someone's using, they immediately change up their entire arsenal of what they're using just to counter that weapon type. Like, ah, I see, so you're just no fun. But, huh, this guy's using a club. Great swords are be better than clubs, and they have hyper, ar hyper armor frames. So if I switch to a sword, I'm guaranteed to win. It's going to put him at a huge disadvantage. Like, I, I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> Not fun. Not fun at all.
What do you want me, by the way? I'm in Dark Souls 3 right now. I'm in Dark Souls 3. Oh! You asked me to play! Motherfucker, you asked me to get on! I got on! I was just gonna ignore you? Why do you guys both have that? Why do you guys both have the same weapon that you can't get? Till later. Cause why wouldn't they? <laughs> oh, well, it's not working for them. They probably don't have the proper stats to use it. <laughs> no, it's the, the it's the ice sword. Oh, the uh, Irithyll sword. Yeah. I I love the Irithyll sword. It's so good. You there? Get down. All right, hold on. If we're doing a, be doing a fight club, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a piece of shit, Mister K. You know what I'm gonna use? That thing that drove you insane, Mister K. You know what I'm talking about? My fucking uh, my ice sword and ice rapier combo. Remember that? <laughs> Didn't you love that so much, Mr. K? Yeah. Cause that was fun. Alright, where do you want me? Hold on. I need to get out of this fight. Damn, you crack an ass over there. Are you watching? No, I, I was I was uh, talking about your chair sounding like it oh. made you fart. I thought you were like like cracking into a boy's was a cold one. I'm gonna be cracking into some boys. With the boys cold. had some cold ones, and I was cracking into them. But no, I killed a blue, a white, and the, the host. And I got like I think I parried them successfully four times. I right, watched. I'm just not right good at Elden Ring, and Elden Ring does not like me. The feeling neutral. At least PvP. I wise. mean, I mean, like I'll be honest, Mr. K. I'm, I'm not that great at Elden Ring PvP either. But I am willing to just fucking. I'm just willing to just say what the truth is. It's a skill issue. We didn't bother to learn the skills of Elden Ring, so we suffer when we do PvP. But other people can handle gang squads with relative fucking. Consistency. We just never learned those skills. Do we need like a series where we just get good at Elden Ring PvP? I don't know. I mean, it could could be a thing because it's not impossible. There's so many people on the internet that prove it's completely possible to consistently kill gang squads. I literally just watched a video of a dude who killed like five blues, like six fucking with six whites, or I guess golds in six Elden Ring's case. Freaking whites, dude. Um, why am I, why am I summoning you? Where am I summoning you? And what are we doing? Uh, I guess Tywald Lothric. We could do a fight club. At what level? Um, I guess low level since you like it. All right. We'll see. If I we don't can care. Do yeah. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Chef Boyardee, motherfucker. I'm six four two up. Good to be back. Oh my goodness. I mean, I never left. 
<laughs> never left? I mean, like I said, I occasionally play Dark Souls 3, like, maybe, like, a couple times a month and just do a bunch of PvP. I oh. never really left. This character... I still installed him. ...is literally a... Wait, what are you? Oh. I'm a... I'm a beast. <laughs> Put that mask back on. I have, I have so many regrets. <laughs> that was so funny. Do I not have an untrue dark ring? Oh boy. I want it to look cool. Hi, come here. What's up? What is it? Why is your head so big? <laughs> Don't worry about it. No, you. Freaking, I shouldn't help you. You you yourself are very big. What? Oh, thank you. Alright. <laughs> I have kind of a big head. Oh. Oh, you beef jerky bitch. I, I was cuter when I had my ring on. But uh, it was so funny. Because I just like, I looked, I was looking at my character. I'm like, I got the poison knife. I got the bleed knife. I got the dark hand. And I've got this armor. I'm like a mixture of the juggernaut and knife mix Everson. So I was like, what does this hero look like? So I took his mask off, and it, I was like, is he a fruit, like the raisin and the grape? Is he, uh, look like Nigel McSyerson? I couldn't remember. I didn't remember what the character's name was when I started the game. So I took off my mask, and he was just Nigel Thornberry staring back at me. I was like, put that back on. Put that back you ready on. to see my face? Yeah. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Oh my god. Dude. Hey, Mr. K, you ready to see the scariest attack ever? Yeah. Dark Souls 3 magic in a nutshell. Oh boy. Oh, it's so scary. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, how are you ever going to dodge this really slow projectile that takes forever to cast? This is actually an issue. The snap freeze. That one is a threat. Pestilent mist. Pestilent mist. <laughs> I'm gonna freeze you! Get frozen! Get frozen! Get frozen! Ah. No. I shoved peppermint in my pussy! No. Run out of magic. Stop. I got flasks. I don't plan on using the magic. Nobody here. Nobody is here. Alright, I guess there's only one op only one option. I gotta kill you, Mr. K. Alright, ow! <laughs> off my head. No. That really is disgusting. <laughs> That's such a good build. I kind of want to use that. I, 
I I always used to use this combo. Well, I used to do a lot of like duels. I just fucking it never mattered because motherfuckers with big armor and heavy weapons just poise through it. I'm like, oh, that's not that good. But against people with light armor, it's very effective. <laughs> At low level, that's probably like one of the best builds in the game. It's so strong. <laughs> It also helps that they can't really, I don't think they can parry my offhand attack with the rapier. No. I don't know, I've never been parried whenever I did it. I don't see why they wouldn't be able to, but I've never been parried with my offhand weapon. Do you want to try? Before I try. <laughs> I mean, actually I trying like a control... In a controlled environment. Yeah, sure. <laughs> in a controlled environment, not in a life or death situation where if you don't get this parry, you're going to die in two hits. Which is what the situation you were under was. Although coming back from Elden Ring, just, my God, the Dark Souls 3 UI is just so ugly. Like, it looks just a lot like Elden Rings, but it's just not as refined. It just looks weird. Like, it just, every time I come back, I'm like, oh, God, it looks so strange. Although, I prefer Dark Souls 3's inventory menu better. <laughs> of how they display things. They don't do it by, like, weird categories like Elden Rings. I like the categories. The, the category good. I, I <coughs> maybe this is just because it's me, but I recognize everything in Dark Souls 3's inventory, in all the Souls games, and just having them clustered together like that doesn't bother me because I'm literally able to pick out exactly what I need on a dime. But I see why somebody would like the category, especially someone who, like isn't as weird as I am and just memorizes the slight shapes of items and they can just pick out an item in a cluster of hundreds. <laughs> All right, let's see if you can parry this shit. Right, hold on. Give me a three piece. One, two, three. Yep, you can. Ah! That's right. I found a ring to put in my ring slot. Yeah, you can do it. All right, cool. So it's not some weird exploit. Oh, that's a backstab. Hey, Ty, who am I? <laughs> 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 ah, Elden Ring player! Ah! My butthole! Uh, watch me heal! <laughs> no! That parry was so sad sounding. <laughs> the old heel strats gets them every time <laughs> in a fair duel. <laughs> it's, not, it's not some. <laughs> like, is that even a duel at that point? That's like, that's like a fucking one. Because the host invasion. has more. Yeah, the host has more. They just have a distinct advantage. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> And you really want to run around and get every single flask upgrade so you can 
to have the most healing items in your 1v1 duel. That's probably why the invades are so fucking dead. It's because everybody wants to be the host, so no one's putting their side down. You literally just have an advantage. You get a rune arc, and you fucking get to be the more healing. You have such a huge advantage! <laughs> And you can control who you get to fight. <laughs> so if you know there's someone who's gonna beat your ass, you can fucking just like not fucking. Am I the am I the only one who keeps trying to jump? By the way. No, I try to open my map though. I keep trying to jump, and then I'm sad when I don't. I'm fine with not jumping. Jumping kind of sucks. Oh, you want to just start over? <laughs> no. No, I'm gonna fight fight you. No, we're even. I'm gonna just force bite you for no reason. Hate you. <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> I think that's rip. <laughs> Blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. <laughs> and a Mr. K parries every 50 attempts. <laughs> Only that first one was pretty clean. <laughs> that was. I figured out how to parry that freaking thing. That's my only shot. <laughs> <laughs> or else you guys just hit me with like four piece combos every five seconds. <laughs> and I'm pretty tanky. But... Not that tanky. Uh, that, that shit hurts. That damage builds up fast. <laughs> Are you wearing like some dancer's armor? Yeah, I'm wearing uh the dancer's crown, the wolf knight armor, the sunless gauntlets, and outrider knight leggings. I'm a mishmash. Looks legitness though, doesn't it? Does. Like, if you didn't know like these armor pieces individually, you would just assume these are all just part of the same armor set. <laughs> you should uh, play uh, the Dark Souls Three mod, the uh, the fucking Thrones mod. Yeah. Demon Thrones, yeah, that's what it is. Demon I need to get back to Dark Souls 2 randomized yet. Yeah. So that was because, because Demon Thrones has Dark Souls 2 area, Dark Souls 1 areas, Dark Souls 3 areas, and some Demon Souls areas too. Ready? Uh, hold up. I gotta... How do I... How do you... Oh, that's how. Ah! Oh, they're respectful. I like how earlier you swung even though you were nowhere close, and I parried even though you were nowhere close. Dang, I'm shitty. Ah! You're so chilly. Get chilly. Get being chilling, my boy. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to do that to you. <laughs> just, that went so south so fast. <laughs> I was 
was just very lucky. It was just a, it was just a fucking shot in the dark and it just happened to land. <laughs> I'm like, I think he'll roll and then do a, a R1 right after. Maybe. Let's like, see. I, usually, I, don't, I don't usually do rolling attacks. That's all I was like, what? <laughs> I, I'm pretty good at parrying rolling attacks. That's why I miss so many parries. So I'm like... If he does a rolling attack, I got him. But then you never do. Until that time. I, I don't do many rolling attacks. I usually, like, fucking just... I do a lot of R2s and, like, a lot of, like, jumping attacks. Like, as soon as I do rolling attacks, I immediately get destroyed. Like, immediately destroyed. <laughs> yeah, that was... We need to do Brutal. some, like... We need to go back with Andrew and do PvP in all the Souls games. Because he got a taste of, like, the PvE of all the Souls games. But he never got to experience PvP. He never got to see what it's like in an arena with a butterfly on the other end. <laughs> he got a taste of, uh... He's got a taste of fucking Ty in his prime in Dark Souls 1, that was for sure. Cause I beat the shit out of him in the fucking killing of the giants. Even he later was like, "Like, dude, I literally didn't stand a chance." I'm like, "Yeah, it's just kind of how that goes." Look at the boo, look at the boo, boo. That wasn't even a roll attack. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> this should hurt. Oh, yeah, ah! that, that freaking hurts. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hornet rings, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to take it off. <laughs> it's been helping too much. I mean, that was practically a one shot. If I had a little less HP, that would have that killed me. <laughs> Just a little less HP. That would have murdered me. I'm going to take this off because I'm not using it. I'm going to try this. Uh. I just don't want to bring out the, uh, I just don't want to bring out the Goddard swag swords. I have them. I just don't want to bring them out. Those things are scary. I'm using a dark hand. <laughs> you bring out whatever you want. <laughs> well, I mean, this low of a level, dark hand just outbeats and got her swag swords. Yeah. I mean, I, I built this build to play at a high level with a low level. This character is almost done with the game. Wow. <laughs> Did you just punch me in the face? I did. Dang it. Yeah, your boy was tired of getting parried. There's gotta be consequences for these for these actions. <laughs> Both of us parried. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Great minds think alike. <laughs> We're really, really dumb minds think alike too. Well, a little early. No. Hello. 
Shoot for the sky. Oh, uh, I think it was aim for the sky. Uh, wait, what? The two, the Toy Story thing with like aim for the sky. Something Reach like that. Reach for the sky. Reach for the. Uh, that's it's what a, it was. It's I a bank watched. robbery, dude. He's holding them up. He's not telling them to shoot the sky. I haven't, I haven't watched Toy Story in a long time. You don't need to watch. To I haven't watched Toy Story in a long time. You don't need to watch Toy Story to know it's not aim for the sky. Aim for the sky, baby. What's he like? It's like inspirational, like shoot for the moon. <laughs> He's aiming for the sky. I <laughs> One of I mean, these days, Mr. K. Bam, right in your ass. Once again, not the phrase, but sure. It's close enough. 50% of those words were right. <laughs> Right in your colon, Mr. K. Hello, Glacies. Hello, Nigel Thornberry. Literally just shows how we build characters right there. I'm Glacies, heavily ice themed. And you're fucking Nigel Thornberry, but you don't act like him at all. <laughs> Next, you're gonna tell me my James John Jameson character didn't actually act like James John Jameson. Yes. That does so much damage. It's not even funny how much damage that thing does. Yeah, it hurts. Alright. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'll keep chasing you down! Here I come! I'm gonna hit you eventually! Eventually, at some point! <laughs> at some point, one of these will connect! <laughs> I'm a bop ya! And what I do! <laughs> Alright, you wanna do one more and then... Hold a live fry and... We'll just hang out and talk and see if Andrew shows up? You sure? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. Even if Andrew shows up, I think I'm getting ready to go to bed. It's fucking 11 at night. We, he was here at 8. This one's for all the butt sex. Oh, dear. Like, just all of it? Yes. Like, just, like, around the world? Just all of it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even like all, even like all the gay giraffes. Yes. Especially the gay giraffes. <laughs> all of it, all around the world, every instance. Oh man, that's. You're like, I'll get the throw. I don't want that. I don't. I don't. I don't think Glacies wants that. I don't think she wants to deal with sodomy. Nigel Thornberry's like, I'm into it. <laughs> I'm smashing. He has to go, I see, smashing. There are so many. Hey, look! This I is showed such up a right here. What's good? stream, by the way. Of course, <laughs> the stream where we're not actually getting anything done productive. Those are always the best streams. Uh oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <The Ow! laughs> so, most weapons, 
They hit you once, they hit you again. If they go for another R1, you parry, and you parry them correctly every time. <laughs> the dagger, however, is too fast. By the time you hit that parry on the third swing, they've already hit you. <laughs> so you just get, like, free reign to just keep on knifing them. It's really a disgusting weapon. And, like, people it don't really, realize really that because they try and parry it, they're like, wait... Like, you just gotta roll out of it. When you're in that storm of knife swings, you just gotta get out of there. Because people that, don't... That's, people don't realize... That's very broken. It's, it's that's very, very broken. Very broken. It's literally unparryable, but it's also, like, really easy to parry other people. Yeah. Hey, where do you get that... That rapier? That, I don't know where to get I think, work. I think you get the rapier from, uh... The one in uh, the castle, the one in the basement, underneath the two dragons. I mean, I could just give you one. I'm pretty sure I have a character that has one. It's in the castle under the dragons. So it's like yeah, end yeah, end game. You kill the uh, Irithal knight there, and he fucking drops it for you. So it's like. Where the twin, twin princes are. Like, you yeah. got Dragon Barracks? Yeah, Dragon Barracks, and it's the one that's to the left when you're... Oh, killing him's gonna oh. kind of suck, though. I mean, if you want, you can summon me as a fucking... If you already killed the princes, you can summon me as a, uh... As a purple, I think, and that can help you kill them. I'm gonna go for it. Tell you how I do. Oh, God. What? I, I forgot about my level one character, Gary Mustard Chops. Gary Mustard Chops? You took some inspiration yeah. from me on that one, didn't you? <laughs> I don't know what I did. I just, uh, God, he's beautiful. And by beautiful, I mean he has like... His side profile is like that of a goldfish. Just snack that smiles back. Right, you want to fight listen. Gary Mustard Chops? <laughs> Wait, what level did you say he was? One. Oh boy. Is he using a club? He is using a Dragon Slayer axe. <laughs> oh my goodness, that level one? Yeah. Is that level one? You have a bunch yeah. of things to make it work? I Are have you... one. No, I got two actually. The Hunter Ring and the Night Ring. I am not sure. Like what the stats are for that, but I imagine they're not like super low. Yeah, that thing is going to be really hard to kill. I might just need you to give me that. Because <laughs> like, I was fighting the stuff like in between me and him, and they were like beating the crap out of me, and then I was like, I'll just run past them. But then they just came with. <laughs> he has his red sign. Here, mustard chops. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you have the red stuff, man. Alright, sure, let's do it. Well, actually, I don't know if he's in the Mount Makers. Ty is in the Mount Makers, though. Oh, I was just gonna fight Mustard Chops. Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll meet you there. The snack that, some miles back. I'm well, man. Were you sitting in front of the air conditioner? You feel very cold. He's like, it was very hot. I was getting cool. Like I see that you were getting very cool. Gary is built a little different. Mhm. Mm oh, I can tell. <laughs> Gary is also very beautiful. <laughs> Unfortunately, Gary does not have a true dark ring. So you cannot see Gary in their glory unless you want to be summoned by Gary. Yeah, sure, I have my red sign. It's down. I don't. I don't remember how you get the red sign in this fucking game. Um, do you just buy it? I think you might. I don't know. Hello. I haven't tried to get it in a while, so I just have it. Hello, Nigel, my old friend. Gary's come to give you a kiss again.
Which game has the best, like, HUD area? HUD? Or I hub? Hub. Oh, I got my letter backwards. Uh, <laughs> uh, Bloodborne. Dark Souls 1 kind of had a hub, but it wasn't really a hub. Demon Souls had a hub, but it was really big and empty and really didn't do much for the player. It was kind of more of a nuisance than anything else, but it was still really cool. Dark Souls 2, same thing as Dark Souls 1. It had a hub, but not really. It was just kind of a place the game forced you to come back to once in a while. Hello, Gary Mustard Chops. You ready to see Gary? Yes. Oh my goodness. Look at look at his side profile. Tell me he isn't built like a goldfish. <laughs> he really is built like a goldfish. He's like the snack that smiles back. <laughs> he's like Marge Simpson. My head's bigger than yours. Like inbred cousin. Well, that's Look, also a very significantly... large helmet. Let me see if I have your helmet. Just any helmet I put on it, it's very large. I think my head's probably max size. <laughs> I wish I had that helmet, I don't. Alright, you ready? Alright. Uh, yep. Oh, good golly. Oh! You're used to fighting this weapon. <laughs> yeah. That's it for me. That if you're gonna overwhelm me, now would be the time to do it. <laughs> not Quiet. bad, as dude. Not as, bad. As soon as I miss that jump, I'm like, yeah. That if you're gonna kill me, now would be. The time. <laughs> Don't let Gary get hits on you. Gary hurts. Gary does hurt. Gary hurts a lot, and Gary's only level one. I feel like if I reposted with the dark hand, it would just insta killed you. <laughs> Probably. You would have just Gary would have exploded. <laughs> I would just Thanos step Gary. Gary would be gone. Out of existence. <laughs> yeah, Gary. Gary ouch hurties when Gary hits. <laughs> But yeah, I also got on this fucking awesome armor. Alright, I think I'll just end stream. Yeah. Wow, that was a fun Elden Ring stream. Yeah, it turned into, turned into Dark Souls 3. <laughs> you killed I'm one boss. Bid. Yeah. I like Andrew, I'll come back home. I'm like, yeah. I assume at some point, like, well, this yeah, I'm going to help bed. Us. It's fucking eleven o'clock, dude. He's been he left at like nine. It's been almost three hours. I like how like you're like, oh, it's eleven thirty. I'm going to bed, but then like the other day, Andrew's messaging me at one thirty in the morning, like, hey, we're still on. Like, yeah, great. Well, <laughs> that's because we were that's because we were killing Mesmer and we killed ours, and we're like, Mr. K might still be awake, but I'm like, I doubt he'll like want to play anything, even if he was. Yeah, I, so late. I, I like just got into bed and I get a message like we're still on. And I'm like, well, what the freaking do? <laughs> what the fucking do that? I'm not. Go to bed. <laughs> Who the hell plays Elden Ring trying to kill Mesmer at 3 a.m.? Oh boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna have to watch the stream back on like. Fast forward to find all the clippable moments because this has been a really fun. <laughs> Alright, bye, chat. Uh, see you, everybody. <laughs>